Greetings everyone, welcome back to Quarry Chapter 9 the Matriarch. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. Our peanut butter butter pops trophy. Like, walk to the main road. This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you... Hooky McHook face. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all going to be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Kind of got... Close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? There's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> There. Oh, shit. Relax. It's motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. Easy, Ma. Put me down, you old witch! Blow your fucking head up! Ah, bitch! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. What you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off me! Everybody stop! Constance. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh... Wake up. Wake up. Darling. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cuba. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis. Oh, 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 yeah. Ah, ah. 
Uh, okay. All right, that's not good. So we don't pull the knife here. Really? Yeah, I'm not doing that. No. Oh. Right, that's it. Same like every time. <gasps> and we are hiding the cabinet. I'm close. Stand by. Over. All right. If this is basically the same like every time. We are hiding here. Let's get up and kill Chadidia. I 
I don't even have to look on the guide anymore. We made it so often. You and me know already what to do. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. All right, here we are in our breath holding event. Just release it. Time when it's over. Otherwise, Bobby will come back. If you're waiting there too long. Yeah, I promise. 
I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> You stabbed me! Yeah, fucking hurts, don't it? I ain't never been stabbed before. <sighs> Leave me alone. <sighs> Ow, it really hurts. Dad! <sighs> hey, hey, hey! It's me! It's me! What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? I'm so sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life, and mine, and Max's and your friend's too. Let you bite me, and live to kill Chris Hackett, or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? Mm-hmm. We accept that, and we don't interrupt the... Take away. Do it. Tender for you. You should start to feel better soon, I guess.
These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped of parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. All right. That one we can just go through, we have to not collect something or stuff like that. I don't really know what to say here, it's like a really quiet video, but yeah, we have been through there for like a million times by now. A little bit sad, this game has so much opinions and you don't use them. Maybe I just do one more playthrough for my own. Where I just choose what I think of. <sighs> Are we gonna end up in a documentary? No! Shut up, come on, let's go. Hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. All right. It's a uh, super duper great music time once more. For now, the last time. Yeah, we can go here to save some time. Dylan? You ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um. Just, uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Alright. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, grab 
whatever. What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! We sound the horn. Right. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. be a counselor at summer camp, Abby. You'll learn how to interact with people better, and you'll have loads of fun and make friends for life. I'm so sick of people telling me.
need to now. Hello? Is anyone there? So we need a silver bullet here for a shot. Chapter 10. Just to kill the White Wolf. Blunder must have come this way before he attacked us upstairs. Needs a rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out. Maybe I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. All right. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think... I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch.
Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So, <laughs> what now? Everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. <laughs> you think this is over? This isn't over. I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. Huh. Oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. <laughs> he'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A uh, feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, buddy, uh, at, go. The at the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can, can someone please get me some fucking clothes? All right, guys. Episode. It should be the platinum. You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. I'm down. Doesn't Young matter. lady. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? That was your last chance. I can't help you anymore. You're on your own. Alright, with that I say thank you very much for tuning in today and we see us on the next episode. Until then, cheers!